much. So we got these uh, acrylic Kellac covers. They're smoked. Uh, I got these off Sticker Fab. I believe they're made by 21 Off-Road. Uh, they didn't have any instructions come with them, so I'm assuming it's just as simple as taking this adhesive backing off and putting it on. So, sorry about the noise. Somebody decided to eat when I was filming. But anyway, so, I mean, you can see these things are pretty, pretty cool looking. So, we'll see how they fit. You know, uh, should help protect the taillights as well from minor impacts, but also help uh, give it that cool look. So, you know, I got the LED signature taillights, so I'll probably keep those for a while. See what else the aftermarket comes out with. But for now, I can put these on. Look even hipper than I already do. <laughs> don't laugh all right jody from bird dog over here today we're going to put on these 21 off-road uh tail light cover lenses their smoke tail light cover lens gives the broncos a good look if you don't think that's blacked out version uh, these are i think exclusively available through sticker fab at the moment we'll put a link down below so you can get there and get your own uh well, sticker fab is an affiliate of ours so we do get a tiny uh commission if you buy them through our link so we'd really appreciate it if you'd help support us in that regard uh but anyway so First off, you know, every municipality, every local government has different rules and regulations when it comes to aftermarket or light, lights, tail lights on vehicles. So be sure and check with your local law enforcement agencies or your local laws to see if these are legal. Um, they're probably not legal here where I live, but, you know, I'm going to take that risk because, you know, even though they may not be legal, many places may not enforce it. But, you know, know if you do put these on and they aren't legal and you get a ticket, you know, don't come you know crying to me or sticker fab or 21 off road because you're going to put these on at your own risk so just having said that little disclaimer out of the way we're going to get you started first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some rubbing alcohol here I already opened it up and we're going to clean this edge right here because this edge is where the adhesive will mount mine's pretty dirty so we'll do that and get that good and clean and we'll make sure that when this thing goes on and sticks that it's sticking good so we want to get any semblance of dirt off of there you know, especially right here. And then when you're done with that, you're going to take a microfiber towel. Also wipe it down. Make sure you get any residual dust, dirt off of this thing. Especially right here at this one piece. Because this side piece right behind the reflector is where the adhesive is going to go on. Uh, vinyl overlays right here. I'd probably recommend taking those off because these things are pretty dark. And you're not going to have anything showing whatsoever. Because you do want some things to show up because you don't want to get rear-ended or anything. But just to note, if you already have something on your tail lights, like I said, you might want to take them off. So right here is the lens. We've already done the passenger side, but we're going to show you guys the driver's side. There is an adhesive bar right here. It's a pretty thick bar, so I hope you can see that. We're going to peel this off. This can be a little difficult, but we're going to peel this off. I'm going to use a uh, heat gun on the low setting. Just warm it up a little bit because it's about 45, 49 degrees here in Chicago today. Because you don't want this to be too cold when you put it on. So you want it to really stick on there and really hold. So we're going to heat it up, stick it on, hold it on for a few minutes. Or a few seconds at least. And then we should be good to go. Now we did the other side. This thing fits a pretty tight fit on there. So you're, this is not likely to come off. You're going to have to probably purposely pull it off. Because this, all this around here like pops on the place all the way around the light. It's just this adhesive here. It's just kind of a little extra insurance. Helps keep it on. Especially, you know, uh, if you're out off-road and it takes a leak or something. Now, whether this will help uh, absorb anything and hit your tail light, I don't know, but it sure can't hurt. So anyway, we'll get this thing going and get you guys rolling. And after we're done here, we'll turn the lights on just so you can see what they look like through the lights, at least in daylight. Ah, there we go. Take this red stripe out. You can see the adhesive right here. Our big adhesive bar. Like I said, this is on a low setting. Be careful doing this. If you're not comfortable doing this, don't try it. This is a low setting on the heat gun. I held it up to my hand earlier. It's not going to melt or damage the cover. I'm just going to use it to slightly warm up this adhesive on here before we go slapping it on. Just kind of helping it adhere a little better since it is so chilly today. I think ideally you probably want to do this in 60 degree plus weather, but like I said, we're in Chicago, Illinois. That's going to be a couple months out and we can't wait that long. If you had a garage or something that's heated, probably be more ideal. You know, I said, do this at your own risk as well. The directions, there's no directions in the box, but I'm pretty sure they wouldn't recommend this just on the precaution side, even though if you do it right, it's not really going to probably harm any. All right, so that should be decently warm. We'll come around here on the other side. We're going to pop this thing on. So, pretty snug fit. 
you know, I've always thought that maybe if somebody come out with like the Raptor tail lights or if the Raptor tail lights will work on this, I might upgrade to those. And I still may do that. But these right here, something to help it look a little different. Not like every other Bronco with LED tail lights. And make it a little more stylish. So I'm just holding this in for a little bit. Let's help it settle. Like I said, you can push on this. And I'll show you some close-ups here in a minute. This is pretty snug in there. You're, you're not going to get this thing to come out. You know, at least not without trying. You're not going to have this thing blow off on a highway speed. And you're not going to have this thing blow off in a car. Alright, so as we said a while ago, these things are pretty snug. Like I said, they fit on here pretty good. Right up against the edges. Upper, lower. Snug all the way around. So, yeah. There's the passenger or driver's side. And here's the passenger side. A little dirt on there. But you can see, like I said, it fits pretty snug up against the base of the window. Or the tail light. Give you a good snug fit. So... All right, guys. I right, just want to show this to you guys. Hope you guys like it. We'll turn the lights on here in just a minute and let you guys look at that. All right, so you can see the hazards are on. Uh, of course, you know, the LEDs are going to hyper flash. But you can see, kind of get an idea, at least the purpose of this is to show you how they look. You know, you can obviously see through the smoke. So when you turn these on, you shouldn't be any issues as far as people being able to see them. Especially at night. So... Anyway, I want to show these to you guys. Hope you guys like this content. If you do, please like and subscribe. Please hit that alert button so you don't miss any new videos coming out because we got plenty more to come.